To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There's also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Nardia Voila literature, for instance. The fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes, to realize that they're not just funny, they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. Of course, they won't appreciate, for instance, the humor in Rick's existential catchphrase, Wubba Lubba Dub Dub, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons. I'm smirking right now, just imagining one of those adulpated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as Dan Harmon's genius unfolds itself on their television screens. What fools, how I pity them. And yes, by the way, I do have a Rick and Morty tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It is for Sue's eyes only. And even she has to demonstrate that she's within five IQ points of my own, preferably lower, beforehand.